Is it really worth getting a job in tech in 2025? Every day it seems like there's a new CEO saying they'll never hire another software engineer or a new video saying that AGI is just around the corner. After more than 14 years in the tech industry myself, it's safe to say that a lot has changed recently. So I just want to give an honest review of what it's really like to work in the modern tech industry today. First up, there's no doubt that it's definitely made me more efficient. AI is highly capable of performing fairly low level tasks and also taking away some of the grunt work and the repetitive tasks. For example, one thing I love to do is write unit tests with AI. You can write an entire function and then ask the AI to implement the tests, or you can go from a TDD approach write all of the tests and then ask it to implement the function based on those. Either way, it takes a ton of work away from you, some of the more repetitive work that could take up hours of time. And this is fantastic for those low level tasks, but you will notice that when you start to ask for more complex things or push the AI into a corner when it has less data to work with, it really starts to hallucinate. For example, if you're working on a fairly obscure API and you're asking it how to implement a certain feature, it might produce code that uses a function that just doesn't exist. And you'll see that immediately. You'll see the code it produces and you'll think, well, I know that won't work because I know that function doesn't exist, but let's just try running it anyway, see what happens. And inevitably it doesn't work. So you go back, say, hey, you hallucinated, give me some more code. And then it just hallucinates again and again and again. And you just notice that because you've pushed it into that corner and it has no training set to work from, it just sort of starts to make things up. But I can completely understand why as someone getting into the tech industry today, or if you're a junior engineer, you might be worried because you might be working on some of these more low level tasks, things that AI is fantastic at, bootstrapping projects, writing unit tests, even writing some pretty decent front end UI is also a solved thing. But as you start to improve your skills, you'll notice more and more that it can't help you out. And if you try and approach software engineering from the perspective of the prompt and write all of your code through prompts, it might make you feel more efficient in the short term. But the second you get a production bug, and it will definitely happen, you need to understand the code that was written. So regardless of if you wrote the code or the AI wrote the code, you still have to understand it. So you still have to develop your skills. In fact, there've been some studies recently that indicate AI doesn't increase developer efficiency at all. And I think that's where it's really getting at. It's all about those high level tasks that you really need to understand. So AI is great for taking away a lot of the boring work, a lot of the repetitive tasks and allowing you to focus on more of the fun stuff. And in fact, it has made software engineering more fun again. It's kind of cleared my head and allowed me to think about the high level complex things. So are jobs at risk? Maybe. I think there is definitely risks for more of the entry level jobs. And I understand why that would be a concern for people coming into the industry today. But as you start to become more experienced, AI just becomes another tool in your tool belt. You still have to understand the code that you're writing and you still have to be able to deal with production bugs and adding features to all of the code that was produced. I've got a fairly optimistic view on the situation. 20 years ago, it took an entire team of developers just to build a fairly basic website by modern standards. You needed a database guy, a front end guy, a back end guy, someone that just does the UI. But today with modern tools, we have people like myself, a full stack software engineer that can build the entire thing as an individual. But that doesn't mean that the amount of jobs in tech have reduced. In fact, they've drastically increased. So as we've become more capable, we've also become more ambitious and the demands of a modern software engineer have increased in line with that capability. And I think the same is true for AI. We're not at risk of being replaced by AI, but you are at risk of a developer with AI replacing you. If you're not willing to upskill and move with the current trends, then you will definitely fall behind. Of course, a lot can change. Maybe we'll get to AGI in the next five years and these models can completely reason. But at that point, it's not just software engineers at risk. It's literally every knowledge worker in the world at risk. So I'm just happy to say at the moment, in many areas, it's made my job so much easier, but it allows me to focus on more important tasks. And I think that's how it's also gonna stay for the next few years. So what I'm really trying to say is, keep your skills sharp, embrace change, and you can still have a long career in the tech industry.